everybody, welcome to my Dia de si Manila campus tour. Oh, let's go. So this is it. Oh, look at the view though. Let's get and then a coffee bean in the library. Isn't that so cool? Okay, so first you enter, right? We have the bathroom, which by the way is my favorite bathroom because you'll see. Okay. Look at that, a full ass mirror. And look at this, look at this, look at this. Hi, more mirrors. Wow. And then you enter here, another walkway. And then you see a bunch of hallways. These are the classrooms for LS. Let's see if we can go in one guy. Someone's in there. Someone's also in there. Someone's in there. Okay. This might take longer than expected. Wait long. Let's go upstairs nanga for a classroom. Let's go. <laughs> Basically, LS is like the building for business students. When I switched to a business major, most of my classes were in LS or Andrew. There we go, guys. So this is a regular, regular LS classroom. It legit looks like old CSA, huh? Okay, now let's look at another classroom where I did my data analytics class. Let's go. Nope. <laughs> Nope. Here we go. This is where I did my data analytics class. But this is what it looks like. Hi. Just a bunch of computers. It's kind of what your computer classes look like. But look at the view though. That's Yuchenko, Amphi, and the quads. Look at the little paroles. It's so cute. LS also has its own little library. It is called... Medrano Hall. This is where my locker was pre-pandemic and I left my Uwe Pandesal there. So this used to be where my locker was. Not anymore. I'm pretty sure they've disposed of my rotten Uwe Pandesal. It's really cold here but you just can't eat. Wait, long. Yeah, actually you can't go upstairs because it's like the ROTC officers and personnel. I've been there once when I dropped out of ROTC but that was it. <laughs> On to the next. Bye, Medrano. And then over here is the church where my aunt met my uncle back in college. Look at how beautiful it is. Now we're going down to the canteen. This is a canteen that I would go to in between classes because we literally had like a 15 minute break and I'd be starving because I would come from Andrew to LS. So just for a quick bike, this is where I would go. Literally my safe haven, Pericos. The canteen that fed me all day long. <gasps> Oh my gosh, wait, the waffles are open. Oh my God, guys, it's open. This is what I would buy every single day. Their famous Belgian waffles. I would just get the chocolate usually. Look at how affordable they are. Every day, guys, every single day, this is what I would eat. The only downside is this place is really odd. There's like more stalls over there. While waiting for our food, let's go check it out. There's potato giant and there's this Japanese thing that my friend really liked, the takoyaki. But yeah. Literally, this is where I would eat almost every day. Literally. 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 Thank you. The best thing ever. So oh good. This is the quad. This is where I would stay at night when my driver would pick me up late. There was a nice view and there's a socket so I could charge them. We're now entering Yuchenko. I don't know what that sound is. But this building is basically where the guidance counselor is and where the clinic is. We have like a seminar room. I remember having my orientation here. You can't go in, I don't think. It's locked. But <laughs> try to show them a sneak peek. It's kind of like a stage, like a mini theater. Here are the guidance counselor's office. So if you need help with anything, mental health, jobs, literally whatever, you can go here. Now we're going to Yuchenko. Okay, this is Yuchenko. Those benches were not there before. At least it wasn't that many. But now they turned it into this whole study hall. We have a national bookstore, which I find cool. These used to just be like school supplies and stuff. But now they have like books for sale. We also have a merch store where you can get your LaSalle merch. It's closed now, so we can't go in, but you get the gist. There's shirts, jackets, literally anything you want, you can buy there. And look at this. We have our very own Apple store. Isn't that so cool? Oh, come on. You gotta admit this is cool. And we have a LaSalle discount as well for every single Mac product in this store. Now we're going to the museum. By the way, this is free for all LaSalle's, but then like people People who aren't the science they can go as well as long as they book in advance but this is it the museum at De La Salle University and these are the museum hours 
Come in, come in. Hi, Kuya. Well, ask ko lang, yung mga sa public, para sa mga non-Lasallians, magkano po ulit yung ano? Office. Ah, uh, okay. So yeah. Thank you, Ma. Look at that. Over here, we have the amphitheater where the famous Alpep pictures per block are taken. Mine was taken here, actually. Your guys was taken here, right? Over there. Mine was taken here. Now, let's check out Yuchenko classrooms. Suddenly, there are a lot of people, but it's okay. You want to take the stairs? No. <laughs> Look at your face. <laughs> One eternity later. I love the cell because they have the option to take the elevator in all buildings except for LS. I've never taken the elevator there. Do they have elevator? They also have this, which I don't think is open. I'm pretty sure it's not open. But I think you can see from outside. It's like an amphitheater. There's the seats and then the stage is there. <laughs> That's another classroom thing setting in Yuchenka. And then if we go, how many flights of stairs did you at? It's one up. If you go one fight of stay <laughs> Denise, you can do it. Come on. Joke lang the low fat. It's a fat, it's a fat, it's a fat. There we go. There it is. Look at that. Look at that. Come on, Denise. Good job! Here is the theater. Let's see if we can open it. Yeah, let's see. Okay, it's closed. But I'll put pictures here on what it looks like. That's where I went once and performed once. It was like a block thing, but it was fun. And it's nice. And this, I love this. This is a walkway from Yuchenko, the Henry C. building. And it's so nice! When there are football games over there, the Salians would just stay here and watch. And by the way, guys, fun fact, that area, I forgot what it's called, but that's where the Beatles performed back then. Isn't that so cool? If the style was here, I don't even know if the style's here. If this, this thing was here when the Beatles performed, you could have watched the Beatles for free. That is so cool. The better is view on the 12th floor. I'll show you guys later, but it's so cool. I find this so cool. Here in Henry, you have elevators, but you also have escalators. It's pretty convenient. If the line's long in the elevator, you can literally just take the escalator. An aspect I loved so much. And these areas as well, by the way, they're where students would practice if they have like PE dance or whatever. Especially this area, because the lighting here is bomb. What? Like it's really good. This is the area that my blockmates and I would practice for this event. I forgot what it's called. I think it's Fastigan. This is where we would do it. And then this is where we would take the pictures for our DPs. Because the lighting is so nice. And the view, it used to be good. But now there's construction over there. And uh, though there's no aircon here, it is still pretty windy. You don't sweat too much. And then here is the sixth floor library. This is where I would eat if I, it was like too hot for pericles. And one of my favorite parts of La Salle, a coffee bean in the library. That's pretty cool. This is like one of my favorite spots here in the south. Free Wi-Fi, aircon, food, coffee, perfect thing. There's also stairs leading to the fifth floor where it's puro couches. So people would take naps here and they're like circular like that. So it's perfect for group works. Now we're going to my favorite floor, the 12th floor. You'll see why it's my favorite. This is why. This is my favorite floor. It's like the highest floor with the, all those chairs and stuff with a view. The view is so much better without construction, but you get what I mean. Because there's Manila Bay and the sunset view ridiculous and i had afternoon classes and night classes so i got to see the sunset it was so nice this would be my spot like this area that was my go-to spot every single time we got restrooms in the library as well they're clean they have a bidet and we have discussion rooms some have like this projector that you can connect to some even have tvs so that if you want to like practice your presentation you can super cool they have a whiteboard as well i used to do my group things there but you do have to book it in advance we also had these rooms they're like the quiet rooms where you generally don't want to be bothered by people talking like me you go here quiet room <laughs> where you really want to focus oh i love that couch the couch is so comfortable to just like nap i love that couch <laughs> Now we're going to the Christmas tree. You like those things? They're your type of statues. Go, 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 go. This is gonna take us a long time. Do you wanna take the stairs? Again, the lighting, guys. Oh, look at the. I forgot to show you guys the view from the 12th floor. Just imagine seeing the football stadium, but like higher and more to the left. 
But like, do you see what I mean? Elevator line was too long. You can take the escalator going down. You can't be late for class. Can't. Go, 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 go. This square thing in the last two floors of the escalator always made me feel like I'm in like a space shuttle. You know what I mean? Like a time warp. It's like... Look at the view! By the way, this is Henry Grounds. This place is always, always windy. So girls, be careful with your skirts. This is the Christmas tree! By the way, this is the first time that there's anything in the Christmas tree. It just used to be a regular Christmas tree. But now apparently there's something inside, which I don't know what it is yet. But let's go find out together. <laughs> Look at the windows, it's so cute. Papa, oh my gosh. Oh, it's just a place where we, people can chill and take pictures, right? That's it. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, I was expecting more, like a store or something, but pretty cool then. Oh my god, they have headbands. The headbands make it worth it. This is pretty cool. Let's take one with Santa Claus. That was a pretty cool experience. And then, where's the stand? There's a phone stand, guys. To help the Salians with their TikToks and their iconic Henry C photos, they have phone stands for us. Patrick, your genius is showing. Over here is, I forgot what it's called. I'm not gonna lie. But this is where I had my frosh walk and the years before me. This is also where this stalls for the Christmas bazaar was food and stuff. This is where it was. Basically, it's all the way there. And this is where I would work with my groupmates as well, frosh year. And then here, this this area is under construction, but it used to be like a workplace for the students. This is a beautiful garden where I filmed some stuff during my frost years as well. And then this is the faculty center. If you want to talk to your prof, this is where you go. You can't go inside because it's full of teachers. And I don't think they really want to be seen in the video. So we're not going to do that. <laughs> and then this is Blowman. This is where students eat as well. And this is where the school's radio station is located. This is also where I ate back in frosh years. And that's the radio station. There used to be a lot more stalls, but I think because of the pandemic, they all closed and couldn't really afford the rent anymore. It used to be filled with stalls and filled with people. This is Velasco Hall. I had two classes here, but that was it. Mm, the cuteness, it's too much. I think out of all of the buildings, it's this building and Miguel that are the oldest, if I'm not mistaken. Here, I've never been here by the way, because I'm not a science major. This is a computer lab, and I've always wanted to go here. I've only gone here once to pick up my friend, but that was it. It's pretty cool. Look, it's like a real lab. Full of like science stuff and machines. I don't think we're actually allowed to be here. But look at that, LJ Bio Innovation. You know that feeling when you're like, you want to be a science major to play with this stuff, but then you know you can't handle it? That's me. Every single time I see one of those. <sighs> it's hot. It's hot, hot, hot. Let's go. So here in Velasco, the one thing I like about it is the view. Again, immaculate view. Look at the view! And the classrooms. Once again, just the regular, regular classroom. But look at this big chalkboard. We don't have just one, we have two. And it's like, what's the need for these chalkboards? And another thing I like about Velasco, the stairs. <laughs> they steep stairs, but like the view going down is pretty cool. Look, look at how cool they look with their machines and stuff. Look at that. Okay. <laughs> On to Miguel. Let's go. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Bruh! Now we go to Miguel Hall, where I spent literally most of my frost year. Hey, they're open. This is where I spent most of my frost year. All the memories just come flooding back in. Story time. I did not know how to speak Filipino. I still don't. I'm getting better at it. But back in frost year, I was the worst. Okay. No, I was not the worst. First of all, I always knew how to speak Tagalog. The problem there was that I had a thick accent. Going into college, I had a thick accent and my accent has gotten better. I know, I know Tagalog. I would be made fun of by my classmates and by my teachers. But there was this one time, this teacher was being extra mean and my friend Kauri, she stood up for me and she was like, it's not her fault. And I was like, 
Because it was literally only one of the two times that someone stood up for me when someone would make one of my Tagalog skills. And it's just one of my college core memories. But yeah, this is where that happened. This is where I pranked my ex to my OG watchers. You know what happened? You know where I would stay? I would stay right here in the corner with my friend. I was that good. I was not social at all. I'm still not. Social anxiety is off the roof. But I'm getting better, right? So yes. But when you view it. There's a green room here that I never got to use, but the room's cool. I just forgot where it is. It's somewhere here. Oh, here, light room. You can't see anything. Now we're entering the walkway from Miguel to Gox. Basically, this is the hallway of Rory Gox. I'm tired. It looks very similar to the one at CSB, like their walkway there. There we go, and it's cold. This is the Gox classroom. Again, this is another classroom. Different halls, different classes, different majors. But it's just a classroom. Okay, let's go down to the new... <laughs> let's go down to the new study hall. That's a CR, I'm lost. Oh no, here. Nope, I'm lost. <laughs> This is not my building. As you can see, it says STEM. Obviously, this is SHS territory. Is that the time? <laughs> this is the new and improved box. What up on aircon? Pero okay na din. A bunch of study rooms and such. I think that has aircon, no? Okay, so I guess some parts have aircon. Yeah, it does give Google vibes, huh? But like, the food isn't free. Yeah, that's basically Gox for you. It just looks more like Google, more enclosed areas with aircon, but still pretty cool. I bet you if I were a frosh or a sophomore, I would study here all the time. On to the last two buildings. This is Agno, by the way. That's where most of the affordable stuff outside of La Salle are located. Really good food, too. So now we're in Andrew. This is basically where people would say, Kasalana ng frosh. Because usually the lines are so long. So I remember when I'd be late for my classes, I'd have to take the stairs all the way to the 10th, 11th, 12th floor. Fun fact this is also where I took my DLSU entrance exam. Where it all started. Wow. One of the classrooms. Cool, huh? This is the speech lab thing thing where people practice their speech. There's a camera there and everything. This is more for like the calm students. But look at the view. Look at that. The boats, dude. I'm tired. <laughs> My feet are dead. Guys, this is a big school. It's a big school. <laughs> Here we are. This is the recollection floor. I love this area because it looks like a spa and it's so relaxing. This is the room where I had my very first recollection here in La Salle as a frosh. That's where I was. That's where I cried my heart out. Cried. All the way on the other side of the room is this beautiful chapel. That's where I spoke to God after a full day of crying because of the recollection. And then this is the study area, but it's also a dining hall. I remember this is where we ate for a recollection. That's where I sat with my blockmates, that little row over there. There are more classrooms here in Andrew, but I cannot for the life of me remember which floor they are. Before we get out and go to Razon, let me show you the waiting area of Andrew. So over here, we also have like a information desk that reminds you of an airport. I don't know why. But then again, this also reminds you of an airport. And then we have this waiting area. So if you're going to be picked up, you can still work over there. Wi-Fi is still covered. Now we're entering Razon. This is where the athletes are at. Athletes and parking. That's what I know this building to be. We have our beloved pool where I spent my last term pre-COVID in. I love this pool. It's so big. And then here, another very affordable canteen. This is where all the athletes eat as far as I know. So if you have like a favorite Italian athlete and you want to run into them, go here. If you want to go to the gym but don't want to use the athlete's gym, which I will show you in a bit, we do also have a gold's gym. It's a lot bigger and a lot more spacious than the athlete's gym. But again, you have to pay. I've never been here. I didn't know there was like this pala. It's basically the table tennis space, which I just discovered. I did not know that that was there. Here's the dance studio. If any of you guys are fans of DLSU's dance troupe, this is where they practice. Pretty cool. And that thing, I don't know what that thing is. I don't know what this place is, but I've just now discovered it and I'm about to graduate. But it's cool. I don't know what it is, but it's cool. Maybe this is where they dance as well. They need extra space. This is a running track. This is where I used to jog, actually. This is where you play basketball, futsal, volleyball. As long as it's free, you can use it. This is the classroom where PE classes would be, but it's also a dojo room. 
Okay, I have no idea what's happening, but there's a construction there and it looks cool. I think that's where they're gonna put the trophies. This is where the athletes practice. So that's the thing over there. I have no idea what it is, but it's new. And in this area, this is basically the athlete's locker room. I know they got it for free. If you're an athlete, you have a designated locker room here. And then this is the designated athlete's gym that I'm talking about that literally anyone can use, but it's like kakahiya because they know what they're doing. And just a closer look to what I showed you, Kanina. This is it. And then here, more PE classrooms. This is about to get hit by a ball. And I guess that's it for a zone for now. Maybe in a few years, I'll come back and do another one when everything's like, all the construction's done. And that is it for today, guys. The original plan was to go to the famous sign to do the outro, but I decided to save that for my graduation vlog and my feet are dead. So I wanted to sit. But yeah, that's my version of the DLSC Manila campus tour Christmas edition. Your girl is graduating. So after this, I'm coming back for graduation. And then the only times I'm coming back are when Denise needs me to drive her or any special occasion. Down to the last few DLSC Manila content. I hope you guys... Sorry. I hope you guys enjoyed today's campus tour. I hope it made you appreciate LaSalle more. If you're watching this vlog because you didn't know what college to apply to or which college to go to, LaSalle. Uh, remember, silliness leads to happiness and it doesn't hurt to be extra kind every single day. And nice. I'll see you guys in the next video. Merry Christmas and a happy new year. All the love as always from your and girls away. Mwah. Yes. <laughs> this is being a bitch. <laughs> Did we park in? Woo! Okay, bye!